The anime started with Tomo, Misuzu, and Carol deciding to have a sleepover since summer break is almost over. While they playing a king game, Misuzu luckily wins, she then tells Tomo to go to the upcoming fireworks show with June, just the two of them. After that, they show up at June's house, where Tomo asks June if he wants to go to see the fireworks show with her. Despite agreeing to go, Tomo is kind of disappointed to see, June doesn't seem that excited because normally he would be wrapping his arms around her neck. Later that night, June lies in his bed, he is very happy to get to see the fireworks with just him and Tomo. Suddenly, a flashback of Tomo's confessing her feeling in episode 1 comes to him. He thinks that back then, she didn't mean it romantically. This guy is so dumb. Back at Misuzu, while Tomo and Carol sleeping, she starts thinking to herself. It reveals that Misuzu actually doesn't want Tomo and June to end up together. The next day, June and Tomo meet up, June is stunned to see how beautiful Tomo looks in her yukata. Having attended several festivals together, the local vendors remember the pair. Still, they are also shocked to see Tomo actually dressed up, especially when she's got a reputation for being the stall-destroying demon of the summer festival. Despite wearing yukata, Tomo still manages to win all of the game and get all of the rewards. She just makes them run out of business. At the same time, Misuzu, Carol, and Misaki are also attending the festival together. Misuzu asks Carol and Misaki, why are they holding hands so naturally? Misaki replies by saying that in a festival like this, if he doesn't, he will lose Carol in a minute. Which is understandable. Back at Tomo, after accidentally bumping into some guys, the guy begins to hitting on her. June swoops in, placing his arm around her shoulder, and effortlessly take Tomo away. However, June apologizes when she tries to thank him, saying he knows Tomo could have handled it herself. Hearing that, Tomo is angry and punches June in the back of his head. She explains to June that despite being strong, she cannot handle every situation independently. She forces June to allow her to thank him again, seeing her bowing sincerely, catching June off guard. Just before the fireworks start, Tomo plans to tell June how she feels about him. She thinks that this is her only chance since June started to see her as a girl now. Still, since it is an anime, of course, it is not going to happen. When she is about to confess her feeling, she has a second thoughts. Thinking that if it were to happen, what they have now will end and something will begin. It is not like there is even anything she wants. All she wants is for June to be hers. She then decides that it is not the right time to confess now, as the fireworks begin. On the way home, June tries to figure out what his feeling for Tomo is. But after seeing Tomo smile, saying let's do this again, June knows for sure that he can't have a real punching match with Tomo ever again. At school, Tomo tells Carol and Misuzu that June is starting to be careful around her lately. He used to greet her by wrapping his arms around her neck, but now he only uses his pinky. While Tomo walked off, wondering what she going to do. Carol then tells Misuzu that the relationship between Tomo and June is starting to change, just like Misuzu planned. Instead of happy, Misuzu looks kind of sad and she tells Carol to shut up. Still trying to get back at Tomo, the blonde guy and his friends who were beaten up by June in episode 4, approach Misuzu. While her cold personality intimidates them, they do not back down, they grab her arm trying to drag her with them. Suddenly, Carol appears. Misuzu then tells the blonde guy that Carol has nothing to do with her and Tomo. She is just a classmate. Just as they are about to leave, Carol takes out a taser, tossing the blonde guy. Seeing this a perfect opportunity, Misuzu grabs Carol's arm and tries to run off with her. But Carol refuses, leading to her falling to the ground. Still, in the end, they manage to run away and hide in an abandoned factory. Doesn't know what to do next, Misuzu calls June for help. She tells June to come alone because she doesn't want Tomo to involve. Still, Tomo manages to force June to tell her where he is going and demands to join him once she finds out. From a distance, Misaki eavesdrops and also overhears where they are going. Back at the abandoned factory, Carol is still angry at Misuzu for saying she has nothing to do with Misuzu and Tomo. But after Misuzu assures her that she doing it in order to save her, Carol is happy and wants to hug Misuzu. All of a sudden, the blonde guy shows up, before he can do anything, Tomo is already behind him. She then grabs his head and tells him that she is dying to see him before inviting him to go outside. At the same time, 
Jun begins taking on the remaining guy. Seeing Tomo and Jun taking on the guys, Misaki starts to search for Carol and Misuzu, he accidentally stumbles upon Carol, undressed from changing out of her dirt-soiled clothes. Misunderstanding the situation, Misaki finds himself furious. He straight away goes to the blonde guy, asking what did he do to Carol. Misaki thinks the blonde guy did indecent things to Carol. While Misaki tries to eliminate the blonde guy, Tomo and Jun try their best to stop him. You know, you are screwed when you manage to piss off a nice guy. Later, Carol explains the situation to Misaki, saying she just changing clothes, making him really embarrassed as they leave. Misuzu then tells Tomo and Jun to go home first since she has something to talk to the guys. When Tomo and Jun leave, Misuzu asks the guys if they've heard of the Aizawa Dojo, just hearing the name only makes them cower in fear. It reveals that Tomo's father is a legendary delinquent leader. Misuzu then tells them that Tomo is his only daughter before threatening them not to mess with her and her friends ever again. Outside the abandoned building, Jun waits for Misuzu, calling her ruthless. Misuzu asks Jun why he's still waiting for her, to which he replies that because Misuzu is still a girl. The episode ended with Tomo fearing that she may have ruined her progress with Jun after losing her cool and acting like a savage again but after seeing Jun, touching her shoulder gently like how a guy should touch a girl. Tomo is happy and starts running off saying that perfect. If you come this far, please consider liking and subscribing for more videos like this. Thank.